Hey guys, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. The transfer deadline day is closing on Thursday at 5 o'clock. And I've got Paul, I've got Rob. We're going to talk about transfers in Newcastle United. Never two things you put in the same sentence, is it? Uh, Paul, we've signed Joe Linton, we've signed St. Maxim Mann, we've signed Jake Turner, we've signed Kyle Scott, we've signed Villens, if that's how you pronounce it. Apologies if I haven't. Do Newcastle need a strength in anywhere else? Yes, most definitely right back. Um, we need, that is the most important uh, position to get uh, done, I think, now. Uh, Sterry isn't up to it, he needs to be shifted off. Mankio isn't the answer for me also. Uh, so we need to bring somebody in with Yedlin, obviously uh, still injured and unavailable. So we have been linked to the uh, to the Swedish player. So I expect him coming in as a bit of a cheap option. Kraft R, I think he's called a Kraft or something like that. Something like yeah. that, yeah. Um, not don't know a great deal about him, um, but obviously the club will have done loads of research on him. Um, but we need extra bodies in there because at fullback we have been uh, found wanting. Perhaps Matt Ritchie might be able to to fill in over there. Um, kind of left footed player, player right back. He's a, he's a, it's the professionalism of the player that I'm going for there. If push comes to shove, that is maybe something we can look at. Uh, but yes, yeah, Sterry has to go for me. Mankeo isn't the answer, so we need to bring somebody in, uh, and that is really important. Also, as well, I would like to see a striker brought in. Um, I've still got question marks over Dwight Gale and his fitness uh, and his attitude and that sort of thing. So two players I'd like to see in. Them. Rob Paul's talked passionately about a fullback, um, a striker. Now, do you think that we do need a striker? Because Steve Bruce has made it very clear that he doesn't want to let Dwight Gale go. I know there's a lot of speculation if Newcastle maybe get an offer, would it could be swayed. Does if you're looking at a striker, are we looking at a young striker, or are we looking maybe like a Charlie Austin or an Andy Carroll because they are available? Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts? I'd be happy with another striker. I wouldn't say no, but at the same time, I think right back is certainly the priority. If we are going to get one, we're going to have to fit like fish around the bargain basement a bit. Yeah, I mean Austin and Carly say they are available. They are there for the taking, and I think I can. I think they'd, they'd be good additions, uh, good squad players. Would they play in head of moot or? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but I think you know, Kraft, the 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 right back. If he has his own YouTube channel, <laughs> uh, I think he might have some good material. Yeah, Kraft material. No, Kraft, Kraft, Kraft and like material is in YouTube. I, don't, I, I think it's getting bad if you have to explain your puns. If I'm being honest, but well, you didn't laugh, so I just I, I assumed you didn't get it. <laughs> we'll move on. Um, <laughs> Crying internally. Crying. And like material, craft and material, and like material yeah, we on YouTube. We, we get it. We get it. Paul, if Isaac Hayden leaves, will Newcastle have to bring in a new centre midfielder? Yeah, I think it will be criminal if they let him go at this late stage in the in the window. It is a cr uh, critical part of the uh, engine room for Newcastle United. Um, he has been such a player for us since coming back in, uh, obviously, last season. If he was going to leave, he should have left in the first couple of weeks. Nothing's changed since then, so I'm hoping that we keep all of them. I don't want that disruption in that crucial area of the pitch. I know he's got these circumstances back at home, but you know, a couple of weeks ago he was speaking quite positively and making noises about new contracts and stuff, so I'm hoping he'll stay, maybe get a new contract, and they can work around these problems and we can continue to get the performances we had uh, from you know, obviously the end of last season. Rob, is there anybody that you could expect a bid from? So maybe players that could leave, or are you, are you thinking that it's probably unlikely that we're going to get that we're going to probably have to sell an important player? Well, the other day when we heard about uh, Harry Maguire move, jumping ship to Manchester United, I was concerned that Leicester might want to fill that void with Lascelles. I think he'd be a good fit for them, but I found out earlier that apparently the likes of James Tarkovsky and Nathan Ake are more on Leicester's agenda for to to fill that void. So. Concern, that's pretty much gone. I think if, if long staff, long staff. No, I, I think we, we we've touched up on it, haven't we? we? I can't see him moving. He's yeah, he, he's storm. he's he's here to stay. He's here to stay. That that storm has died down a long time ago now. So, um, yeah, I, th I think we're all good and ready for the new season. To be honest, maybe you know add one or two players, but I uh, I'm not expecting any key departures. How about yourself, Paul? Oh, 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 that could have been a pun in itself, couldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> how about yourself, how about yourself Paul? Is, it, is there any departures that you think that could potentially happen? Is there any, if, if a bid came in for, say, I don't know, Dwight Gale, for example, that's a, obviously a player that 
has been linked, would you take something like £20 million for Dwight Gale? Yeah, in a heartbeat, I would, yeah. Um, but, critically, we'd need to replace him. Um, so, and again, are, are you bringing in a Charlie Austin to replace somebody like Dwight Gale? Are you bringing in Andy Carroll to replace a Dwight Gale? These are people with questionable fitness records, a la as well, Dwight Gale. So, to me, if you're going to bring somebody in, it's got to be somebody who can hit the ground running, who has a decent fitness uh, track record, because we do not, we've done it time and time again, do not want to be signing these players who are constantly injured and constantly in the treatment room and not out on the park giving Steve Bruce options because we need a big squad or a bigger squad to be able to compete in the uh, Cups this season and I really, really, really pray that we can have some sort of decent Cup run this season. So it's critical that we keep all of these players off the go. It's decent money and it's reinvested straight away. Uh, but it makes me worried because obviously with Lee Charney involved, Nothing has ever done at breakneck speed. What were you going to add, Rob? Uh, 20 million for Gale, and we're laughing, I think. Uh, and especially when you've got quite a lot of strikers. Yes, strikers who are there on the cheap, on the free. Yes, they are very questionable fitness-wise. But you just think, yeah, their quality is so much better than Gale's. Well, I we, we to to be honest, man, in my opinion, though. that's where Don't if you were going to do a striker and get Gale out, you need somebody. You don't need a support striker because you've got your Mew twos and players who can play there. You need somebody who can, in the Joe Linton mould, mm. the Rondon mould, play right up the top as a player, you know, to, to ping balls off uh, and be a focal point for the attack. Um, I can see it being a pretty quiet. I think a couple of younger players might come in personally, uh, but I can't imagine that this late stage in the game, apart from the right wing back, which I think is it's obvious, it's crying out that we need work there. Uh, I can't see it being too busy. And Rob, finally, if Steve Bruce gets what he wants, is it going to be a successful transfer window? Does Mike Ashley Lee Charlie have to look and go, do you know what? We've got the players that we wanted to bring in because I don't think Steve Bruce has had much of a say on this. I don't believe he has really. Uh, you, you take the likes of Joe Linton. We've been after him since you know about March time. So I, you know, I think it's just same, yeah, different manager in in, yeah. in, in, in the transfer front. J just you know we've we've been able to actually splash the cash a bit. Get your comments in below. How many players will Newcastle sign before Thursday's deadline? Will we get that right wing back? If you got a bid of twenty million pounds for Dwight Gale, would you take it or would you trust the board to replace him? Get your comments in below. We're trying to get 20,000 subscribers before, well, I was going to say before the end of the year. I think we could probably do it before August, the way we're going. So if you could subscribe and like and comment, that would be absolutely delightful. Thanks very much. We'll see you later.